Hey guys, we just did the Patreon giveaway and I will do my pickups of this month. So let's start with Standard. Standard's kind of stale right now. Chandra is kind of cheap. Anguish on making is good. I'm trying to get the foil ones, but I can't find them. Declaration Stone's very good. For So this card I want to talk about. Uh, typically what happens is land is very, very cheap right now. And then when the, it rotates, so after the moon set, we get the next set. And then there's going to be a top one deck. And the land that is being played in that top one deck will be much, much more expensive. I'm predicting right now when the moon set hits, the top one deck will be black, red vampires. I will put my money where my mouth is and start accumulating these vampire cards, but definitely the land base. You can't really go wrong with the land. It's like $3, $4 right now. I like it a lot. Uh, definitely if you don't have these lands, they work extremely well with the Battle for Zendikar lands, so they will be dominant after the pain lands rotate out. So we'll have the uh, we'll have the enemy man lands, we'll have the on color, the the ally Zendikar battle lands, and we'll have these lands, which I think is pretty good. I like these lands a lot in conjunction with the battle lands. They do a ton. Oath of Nyssa, this card is becoming extremely hard to find. It is seeing some play in modern as a card. It is very, very good. I think it comes down to, in my opinion, whether or not for green, it does something that's unique in green that's very difficult for green to duplicate because this isn't green strength, is isn't to card filter. So it's a good card. I, in my opinion, I think it's one of the better cards with upside. Definitely foils. I haven't been able to trade into any foils or buy any foils for my locals, but I do love this card a lot. Traverse the Underwalk. Um, again, a, a tutor card. Tutors in standard temp typically are very weak. This card has upside. Late game, it can grab you whatever you need. Because um, you have the Delirium active. Early game, it grabs you the land you need. I will talk about these cards and then I'll talk about Arlen. So, I like these cards a ton, mainly because of what it looks like. It's a crocodile and a dragon. And a lot of times when I'm trading with EDH players, it's what a card looks like. They love full art cards, they love foil cards, and they love dragons and crocodiles, reptiles of some type. And there's, there's no reason or there's no, these trade fast. So when you're dealing with your trade binder, I like liquidness. I like how fat, I'd like to have cards that I can trade immediately away if needed. Cards heavy in demand. When a card is not in demand, even if it's expensive, I just don't want to touch it. Uh, that's the reason I don't currently have any moxes because, oh yes, moxes are amazing, but how many people at your local game store are going to be able to trade for a mox? But people are going to be willing and able and happy to trade for these cards. So picking up the Languish and then the Regent, I'm still going to pick them up at, from this point on up until they rotate out and then I'll haste in my pickups because they're just very beautiful cards and dragons will always be dragons and Mutilate is always a Mutilate. Mutilate has always, I've loved the cards for so long and to see a Languish, I like it. The artwork is very good. Arlen Cod. So if you don't know, I pulled one of these from Mass Drop and at 22,222, which is coming close, I'm gonna give this, this Arlen away. I'm picking up Arlen's. As a Planeswalker, it's all about the Neheri. Neheri this, Neheri that. I think Arlen actually benefits from that. The price point has pushed her down so low that in my opinion, in a few months, she'll be sub 10 if she already isn't at this time of this recording. And when that happens, a flip planeswalker, a werewolf human, or no, she's not actually a human, but a planeswalker that can flip itself and actually has the strength to do stuff and has the ability to flip herself is extremely, extremely relevant. You control all five abilities. You can determine if you want to flip her or not. And 
just a fantastic card in my opinion. Will I see play in EDH? Definitely. Will I see play in Standard? I, I, I believe so. I believe this card will see play in Standard. The meta has to be great for it. Huntmaster one time was the most dominant card in Standard. I don't see this as worse than Huntmaster. The only way that it's worse is that you can't play multiples of it. So anyway, bye guys.